Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I completed an upper molar retreatment. So this patient presented with an existing root canal treated tooth with a persistent infection. The root canal was completed sometime last year overseas. The patient had a lot of pain prior to the first root canal treatment. And after the root canal treatment, the pain went away but the infection did not. So this is me accessing the tooth and here are the existing root canal filling materials. As you can see, there are three existing root fillings. And on the CT scan, there was a fourth canal that was missed from the original treatment. So I'm first starting off with removing the existing gutta percha. This file is great at removing gutta percha without creating too much mess. I'm using my file, uh, in this case size 10 hand file, to measure the length as I want to make sure that the length of the canal is accurately measured with an apex locator. You can see there are areas of the tooth that were not properly cleaned out, so I'm cleaning that as well. and. I'm now looking for the missed fourth canal and there was a spot that had a bit of a stick so I am working my way down there carefully and slowly so that the instrument does not separate. Here I am making sure that the debris that builds up during instrumentation is properly irrigated. And that was the end of the first appointment. So here I'm placing calcium hydroxide as intracanal medicament. I'm placing some sponges so that I can place a temporary material on top to have an easier time accessing at the second appointment. This is the temporary material placed, it's the GI, and now I'm shaping the temporary material so that it's not sitting too high for the patient's bite. This is the beginning of the second appointment. As you can see, I'm now accessing my temporary filling that I placed last time. Easier to remove if I cut them in chunks, and this is what the tooth looks like underneath. Bioceramic sealer material is water soluble and able to easily rinse the excess by 